Body, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Asda's Ballroom Elfie, also known as Asda's Ballroom Elphaba, and she retails for $24.99. You can get her at Target, Walmart, and everything. You already know the drill, and I'm going to show you guys the barcode later if you guys did want to check to see if she's in stores. So, this is the back of her box. It just says Elphaba, and it just gives a synopsis about Elphaba in the back of the box, and it's just there's not that much going on to the back of the box. Like, all of the Wicked Dolls have the same box, just different wording in the back. And then here's that barcode, as I mentioned, if you guys did want to check to see if your store had her in stock. So enough of the chit chat. We're going to get her open and we're going to take a closer look at Miss Elfie. So her face is absolutely gorgeous. It's the same face as all the Elphaba dolls and her hair is styled in a low ponytail and it's pulled back. And if you guys were wondering, unfortunately, she does not have any part line or anything. If you did want an Elphaba with a part line, definitely recommend getting the school one or I definitely recommend getting the singing one. And then she obviously comes with her witch hat. Almost every single Elphaba doll comes with a witch hat. And then she also comes with her bag, which her bag is really cute. And her dress, there's nothing much going on to it. She has a purple bra underneath, which this is all one piece. I was kind of wishing it was separate, but it's not. And then it also has like these little swirly like printing going across the dress to give it the effect that it has in the movie. And then she also has the same boots that almost every single Elphaba doll has. There's really nothing special to the boots. And I'm going to give you guys a closer look at the outfit so you guys can see what it looks like from the front and you can see what it looks like from the back. And there's the um, Velcro and the swirlies go cross across the back too on the sleeves and on the dress. And then that's really it for her dress. She doesn't have too much going on and that's really it for the doll. So that's it for Miss Elfie. I'm going to give my honest opinion on this doll since it really, really wasn't that much to show. But I definitely think this doll should have had separate pieces. I wish that these Wicked dolls were kind of like the Descendants dolls. Because at least the Descendants dolls, they had like jackets or you could take off different undergarments. And I definitely feel like the purple dress could have been separate. And we could have had the little um, vest separate. Or even the mesh part. I feel like everything could have been separate. But other than that, that's really my only complaint. I'm definitely going to give this Elfie. We're going to give her maybe a 6 out of 10 because this isn't really my favorite Elfie doll. My favorite one is mainly, like I said, either the singing one is number one, then the collector, and I would rank this one number three. But other than that, that's really it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this review. Make sure to like, hit that bell, subscribe, and comment so you don't miss any videos. Like I said, make sure to hit that bell, and you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video.